Scripture, you see a very close correlation, do you not? We see that prophecy is being fulfilled right in front of our eyes. It says, they shall deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Then many shall be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And you know we're seeing all of that today. And all we can look forward to as we put that new calendar on the wall and see January 2013 staring us in the face is more of scriptural prophecy being fulfilled. Yes. That's something that will not change. Uh, I tell you, the news will continue to be bad. My grandson Josiah, he doesn't like to hear the news because it's depressing, he says. Well, I guess it is somewhat depressing when it's all bad, isn't it? But I still believe we need to know what's going on round about. I still think we need to stay caught up on what's happening in our society and how it's going to affect us and our families. I think about the catastrophes. Every morning I awaken, I want to turn on the news and see if any catastrophe has taken place overnight. Remember, a couple years or so ago, when you turn the TV on and there was that devastating earthquake in Haiti and then the terrible devastation of an earthquake in Japan and then you know you see this school shooting just recently and how it dominated the news and, and every morning I'm anxious to know if anything else bad happened. And you know we're going to some morning turn on the news and we're going to hear some terrible catastrophe that has taken place somewhere in the world. We're going to hear it because it's a part of life in a sin-cursed world. And the killings and, and the disease and the sickness that seems to overtake us, it will continue to happen. Our families will continue to be decreased through death and and our families will continue to be affected through disabilities. And, and it's something that's not a pretty picture. I wish I could say that when you put that calendar on the wall and look at January 2013, that you can say, oh, this is going to be a year of good news. Uh, nothing bad is going to happen to any of us. Uh, I cannot promise you that. I can say that life is going to go on as it is now. Well, moral and spiritual darkness will envelop society on the basis of what God's Word teaches. I can assure you that these are things that will not change. And while we see changes in our physical, and while we see changes in our families and our finances, these changes in our society will not come there are some things that will not change. Uh, the law of nature will continue to be in full force. The powers of darkness will continue to work against the children of light. The signs of the time will become more evident as more prophecy is fulfilled. And the news will continue to be bad and moral and spiritual darkness will continue to envelop society. That's right. But I will close on a more positive note today, saying one thing that will not change, and that is that God will still occupy the throne yes. as the sovereign God. Amen. He will continue to be the God of all wisdom, the God of all knowledge, the God of all power. God will continue to occupy His throne yes. in heaven. He will be there as He has been there down across the eons of life. And as I like to think about that which will not change, uh, I like to be reminded that God is still on the throne. Amen. And He remembers His own. And if we can find comfort in nothing else, uh, we can find comfort in knowing that God is still on the throne. Uh, I just put together a few things that, uh, that, that uh, reminds me
me of why God still occupies the throne. He's there because we need him so badly in our lives. Uh, he's there for that sinner that has been so stained by sin. If you have been stained from sin, God is on the throne to cleanse from all sin Amen. and purify within. That I believe that in this coming year, because God is still on the throne, that, that there are sinners that are still going to find forgiveness of sin, Amen. that lives are going to continue to be transformed through the grace and the power of God. And I've got some of my family and a lot of my friends that, that I'm praying for today. And, and my hope is that God is still on the throne yes. for that stained sinner, for Amen. that one that is seeking something that will wash away his sin. God will be on the throne for those that are seeking salvation. And God will be on the throne for those strange sheep. And you know we're all the sheep of his pasture and we're going to stray once in a while. But the Bible assures us that he will seek them out and bring them back into the fold. And God is still on the throne for those strange sheep. For those that wander away from the fold. And for those that seem to defy the care and the, and the uh, uh, nurture of the shepherd. Those that insist on doing it their way or going their way, God's not going to let them get too far. God seeks out the strange yes. sheep and, and he brings him back into his fold. And, and best of all, I think that we can take comfort in knowing that God will be on the throne and for the struggling saint. I don't know what struggles you have, what struggles you may have, but I'm here to tell you that one thing that will not change is that struggling saint of God will find that God is there to energize them yes. in their times of weakness. We sometimes grow weak through the battles of life or the toils of life. But I tell you, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Amen. I believe for the struggling saint that needs new strength, God will be on the throne this year. He'll be there to, to, to energize. He will be there to sustain you yes. through whatever you're going through. Amen. I tell you, life can, can, can throw some curveballs, can't it? Life can be so devastating. I just think about uh, the things that happen in our life. And, and as I said, and look at my dear sister this morning. My heart goes out to those that are struggling today. Struggling with the sorrow and the sadness that has invaded their life. Yes. But I can tell you God is still on the throne today. Amen. Amen. And he will sustain us and he will keep us. Yes. And he's still on the throne and he will not forget his own. Amen. He will be there to strengthen us in every way. God is still on the throne this morning. And that is not going to change. Yes. Uh, while we see changes in other places, uh, one thing we can know is that God will not change. Uh, he said, I am the Lord God, and I change not. Jesus said that he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So I tell you, these things will not change, beloved. And I believe that we can face the new year, even though there's some things that, that we wish would change. I know that we're thankful that God never changes. Amen. That God will still be seated on the throne as the sovereign God, ruler over all. I'm glad for those things that will not change today. And I trust that God will comfort and sustain with the knowledge that we have a God that changes not. Let's stand together. Brother Bob.